A delegation from the UN's International Atomic Energy Agency arrived in Iran on Monday for talks about its nuclear program. This comes as the Israeli government and its allies in the U.S. Congress have been calling for harsher sanctions than those already imposed and have kept alive the possibility of a preemptive attack. But as tensions rise in the region, top U.S. military officials are warning that a strike by Israel on Iran would be a mistake. FSRN's Alice Olstein has more. President Obama has repeated in recent speeches that the U.S. is in lockstep with Israel on Middle East policy, and there is, quote, no daylight between them. But recent comments by top U.S. military officials reveal that the two nations disagree when it comes to dealing with Iran. General Martin Dempsey, head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, told CNN's Fareed Zakaria on Sunday that a strike on Iran would be premature and destabilizing. Israel has national interests that are unique to them. And, of course, they consider Iran to be an existential threat in a way that we have not concluded uh, that Iran is an existential threat. And it's for that reason, I think, that we think the current path we're on is, is the most prudent path at this point. The current path Dempsey supports is one of putting pressure on the Iranian government through tough sanctions. And I think that the economic sanctions and the international cooperation that we've been able to gather around sanctions is beginning to have an effect. I think our our diplomacy is having an effect and our preparedness. The most recent round of sanctions passed by the U.S. Congress target the Central Bank of Tehran and the country's oil exports. But Professor Kaveh Asani at DePaul University says the measures are not only ineffective in producing change, they hurt the Iranian people. What these sanctions are doing, uh, they're weakening businessmen, independent middle classes, intellectuals who cannot travel anymore. Anybody with a credit card cannot use it anymore, uh, doing anything. And they're impoverishing the middle class. Economic sanctions are warfare by other means. Assani says those who are in favor of sanctions on Iran should learn from their disastrous effects on Iraq, where they cause suffering, but not political change. Iran's government has insisted that its uranium enrichment program is peaceful, meant only to produce domestic energy. And the IAEA's latest report lacked conclusive evidence that Iran had developed its nuclear energy capabilities into nuclear weapons. But Trita Parsi, president of the National Iranian American Council, warns U.S. domestic politics is making an attack by Israel increasingly likely. The political cost for the Israeli government to potentially take military action, meaning the political backlash in Washington, is most likely at its minimum. The U.S. is engaged in an election season right now, and several of the different uh, Republican candidates have essentially position themselves to the right of Netanyahu, and I think that's adding a lot of pressure to the Obama administration. The Netanyahu government is quite eager to see Obama lose the elections, mindful of the fact that he would get support on Capitol Hill and from the Republicans if he were to take military action. What it does is that it minimizes this cause. Parsi added that any attack on Iran would backfire. The surest way of making sure that Iran actually does get a nuclear weapon is by attacking it, because that's going to significantly increase their desire for nuclear deterrence, and uh, they're going to have twice the determination to get a nuclear weapon. U.S. military strategists told the New York Times that Israel might not even be capable of a military strike. Former Pentagon and CIA officials, including Lieutenant General David Deptula, said such a strike would not be quick, cheap, or easy, and shared concerns that the U.S. military would have to lend assistance. Top officials in the U.K. are also opposing an Israeli strike, telling the BBC that attacking Iran would either lead to an open military conflict or a Cold War. A new CNN poll found that only 17% of Americans support attacking Iran, while 60% want diplomatic efforts and 22% say no action should be taken. Alice Holstein, FSRN, Washington.